This amazing tutorial has been made possible by Cam Studio Open Source, free streaming video software. Hello again everyone and welcome back to the Metal Man TV. As you know, my name is Mark Maia, aka the Metal Man 1112, and today I'm bringing you the next Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10 tutorial. Man, that is always going to be a mouthful to say no matter how many times I say it. Seriously though, I'm going to show you how to animate media using a tool called keyframes. Now for those of you who are relatively new to video editing or animation and don't really know what the hell keyframes really are, here's a brief summary of it because it plays a pretty big role in how to, you know, how to really animate stuff. A keyframe in animation and filmmaking is a drawing that defines the starting and ending points of any smooth transition. And these are called frames because their position in time is measured in frames on a strip of film. When a sequence of keyframes um, is put close together, we see movement uh, pretty fast. And if the position of the keyframes independently on you know, film, video, animation, whatever you're doing, is further apart, the timing of the movement slows down. So it looks like um, you know slow motion or the, that... Uh, that the actual animation has actually slowed down in time. So because only two or three keyframes over the span of about a second doesn't really create the illusion of movement, those remaining frames have to be filled in with in-betweens. Otherwise it, it won't really create, like I said, the illusion of movement. And so when you're doing video editing or video comp, uh, compositing, excuse me, when you're in like uh, Adobe Flash for example, a keyframe is a frame used to indicate the beginning or the end of a change. So let's say we had audio, right? And in audio, we can create a keyframe to indicate the point at which audio will have faded up or down at a certain level. We'd set the, the starting level, the beginning keyframe, and the ending level or the ending keyframe and create the illusion of fading up or down in audio. So it's really cool, really neat, kind of easy to do in Sony Vegas, just a lot of people don't really know about it or don't really use the tools as much. So I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, with you know media and pictures and text, kind of like the way you're looking at it right now. Um, this little extra the Metal Man TV logo and the spinning, rotating sunlight thing in the background. Really cool, really easy, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we are here in the new project in Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10, and now we're going to drag in the media that we want to animate using keyframes. So what I'm going to do now is I have my Metal Man TV logo and the retro sunlight thing that I use for the Metal Man TV's intro. Um, I'm going to drag my logo in right here so it looks uh, it's alpha level is first so it's completely transparent and I will overlay the uh, the retro sunlight underneath it because I want it to be behind the logo not in front of it because the other way around will look like that um, so I'm gonna go ahead and label this logo and the other one I'm gonna go ahead and label background so now that that's done I'm gonna hit the logo just for a second and I'm gonna scale back on this and just bring the logo in a little bit more towards the center about there just to have some nice little uh, rays of sunlight coming out of the middle there otherwise it just takes up too much of the screen uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and use keyframes so go ahead and hit that same button that uh, you saw me hit event pan crop uh, oh wait first uh, before I forget let's make this uh, about 10 seconds long it'll be a, a nice little transition time okay good now hit this button it'll bring up this little window that you just saw me open up uh, this is your event pan crop aspect ratio box here. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is if you're using the retro sunlight as background over just text, if you want to follow my example, you don't have to. But if you're using something in the background that's just kind of like a picture and you want to like spin it or rotate it, um, remember that this takes on the automatically takes on the aspect ratio of the picture. Uh, so if I was to rotate, because this is 16 by 9, if I was to rotate this now, Look at all that black that's coming in, and that's because all these spaces here are not being accommodated um, according to the ratio. So if we were to shrink this down uh, till about maybe there, then we could spin this freely. <laughs> I know it looks kind of uh, ridiculous, but uh, we could spin that freely and keyframe it so it doesn't go into the black. Uh, now I have an automatic uh, little uh, setting for this right there. Whoops. 
not what I meant to do. There we go. Yeah, so just look right there, just underneath the, the border. So it's just, just kind of nice. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is. Now you're going to see that there's a little timeline here. It's called position. And then this little timeline, you see a little diamond here. That's a keyframe. That's the, uh, by default, everything that gets inserted into uh, Sony Vegas has one keyframe already set for the starting position of the of the image, media, whatever you got here. So if you right click this, it's usually set to default to linear. Uh, this is the transition uh, pace. So if you wanted a fast tra transition between keyframes, a slow, smooth, sharp, or, or hold, um, you could always do that. It's by default set to linear. I'm going to leave it at linear because I want this to be mathematically very correct, very accurate, so it spins at a constant rate. If I set that to smooth, it'll adjust the time in between the keyframes, which is only which is about 10 seconds. So it's going to the first five seconds is going to gradually spin slowly up to tempo, and then after the fifth second, it's going to start slowing down. And I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and advance to the very last, uh, if you hit the arrow keys, you'll be able to get there, the very last key frame that's right here at 929. And it's black. I would set the last key frame there if you're animating something because of the fact that if you don't, if you if you put it right at the last second it's there, it's actually going, you're going to see it stop right before it goes to black. Kind of awkward, so I try to avoid that. Um, so I set my last key frame linear so it's all good uh, I'm gonna start this at the angle zero because I don't want it to move when it starts uh, and then at the end I'm gonna change this angle to uh, I'd say maybe a hundred my rule of thumb is to multiply the amount of seconds that the picture is on the timeline by 10 so if the picture was up for 10 seconds I put a hundred degrees if it was up for 15 seconds I put 150 degrees so on and so forth so all right, now that that is set, if we hit this to start playing, it should be animating like so. Awesome. That is, that's really cool. I mean, it's just, it was just a neat thing that I discovered in Vegas. It's just really cool, a cool way to animate your media like that. And, uh, of course, if you want it to be faster, you don't have to necessarily put the keyframes closer together, uh, but you can also just uh, adjust the angle of the rotation by the tenth uh, second just to be like higher degree so the higher you set this the faster it's actually going to move so if I set it to something ridiculous like 350 then it spins really fast so kind of gives me a little bit of a headache that's why I try to keep it a little on the slow side because it's like looking one into those into one of those optical illusions where it makes your head hurt after a while yeah that's, that's kind of what it is and that's kind of what it feels like to me um, so that we're all pretty much ready to go. The only thing uh, I do is I hit the event uh, video event effects right underneath that uh, the little button here, and I add some brightness and contrast and some HSL adjust from Sony's little built-in uh, effects. HSL stands for hue, saturation, and light. So or luminance, whatever. I just say light because it just adjusts the light. See, pretty simple. So. Um, all right, now that we've opened this up, I'm going to adjust the hue to 0 0.98 because I like to have it a little reddish tint because of the red logo, which just kind of makes it stand out. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, that's that. And then go into the brightness, and I set the brightness down to point, negative 0 0.02. Um, and I set this about 15 to 20. Uh, maybe 20 is a little too much. No, actually, that's pretty good. And uh, I'll put this in the full preview. And you can see it's looking pretty sharp, ready to go, and that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, Keyframing is very cool, very awesome in Zony Vegas. I love it. If you guys find any tricks or you do any cool things with it, let me know. And if you always need help in Sony Vegas, I will do the best of my ability to help you guys. Do not be afraid to message me on, fa on uh, Facebook. I was going to say Facebook. On YouTube. Um, and uh, ask me questions, leave comments, whatever. Uh, I'll do the best of my ability. Remember that I'm just a, you know another kind of experimenty guy in Sony Vegas. I've done videos on my main channel for about a year now, but I don't know Vegas to its fullest potential. So... If you guys figure out how to do any cool things, let me know. I'd be interested to know. And if you guys are stuck and troubled on something and it's by popular demand, then I'll make a next tutorial on that. Uh, so um, 
I hope this helps. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, share this with all your friends. Um, I am, of course, Mark Maya, a.k.a. The Metal Man 1112 from The Metal Man TV, and I will see you guys next time. Peace in the Middle East.